Okay, what's going on YouTube? Um, I just want to quickly update uh, on the uh, EGR cooler for the uh, Lexus CT200 and this also goes for um, Toyota Prius. Well, I've tried so many different things, chemicals and whatnot, and I've concluded the best, absolutely the best cleaner is your, you know, gasoline. So basically I bought this from Home Depot, you know, this little tub. So I filled it, you know, over this, not just half of it, all the way here. And left it in there for about three days, three full days. Nothing else, three or four days, I think three days. And then I power washed it. I think you can see in my other video. I power washed it, and here's the result. I just put a light on it. Absolutely clean. There's not even single particle left. Nothing. You can see from the other side as well. This was completely clogged, guys. It was all black, black uh, crud. You, you wouldn't be able to see anything. So, yeah, it did clean pretty good. So, and then also other pieces, you know, this right here, the EGR assembly, what this was completely stuck. And I left this inside the uh, gasoline as well. And I put a little tiny screw right here so it kind of left it open. And then I did, uh, I didn't do power wash on this because, you know, it has some stuff here. Um, then I, uh, I've used brake cleaner to clean it out. This turned out to be pretty good too. And I, you know, WD-40 it and left it here. And this guy here, basically, you know, the uh, intake, um, since I've taken it out of the car, um, you know, I've used brake cleaner and other stuff. But also for these things that, you know, you don't want to put in the gasoline because it's got electronics in it. Um, this right here. Is the best it really works it makes a lot of mess but it does clean good and also on my uh, intake manifold you know I power washed it pretty good clean 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 yeah and took out the battery out of the car make sure it's you know charging yeah, uh, so far it's good. I don't think I have battery issue, but I realized this is a tiny battery. I didn't know. Anyways, so fingers crossed. I'm still waiting for my um, seals in the mail, but uh, you know, and then I'm gonna put it together, and we'll go from there. I just don't want to do a head gasket job because I, I think this was done to this vehicle. Even the top portion, the block, was changed, I think, with the past owner. This car has about 177,000 miles on it. And it was not losing coolant or it was not bubbling and it, you know, it was not losing oil or coolant. It was just throwing white smoke. Basically, I cleaned the, um, the MAF sensor. That kind of took care of the, uh, <clears throat> the um, white smoke. The problem was, when you cold start this engine, um, it shuddered for like 5 seconds or not, or 6 or 10, and then it just goes back to normal, nothing else. So, I think, since my EGR cooler was completely blocked, I wasn't able to blow on one side with my mouth to the other, it was nothing. Now it's completely open. Um, I think this will solve the issue, and my injectors were not that good either, so I dipped them in, I mean I did the little, you know, I sprayed through here, Electra did the uh, solenoid open with the uh, battery, and I left it in the purple cleaner, I think, let me see, what is this called, do, do I still have the box, anyway, this is like a purple cleaner, don't use the green stuff that doesn't work that does nothing for this so this you if you leave it in here just the tip of it it cleans it pretty well after you did a flush on them so yeah those are getting cleaned out i'm basically cleaning everything that's on my way 
while I'm doing this. Um, and then I'm going to put it together and see how it runs. And if I still see something fishy, you know, then I'll do a head gasket job, which I will have the head gasket with the kit. But I think someone already did the head gasket job on this because there's a mark here. I don't think it's factory. And I see I right here, right under my f finger, you know, there's some sputter from the uh, gasket material. Uh, I don't think that's factory. So someone was in this area. So I don't want to do the head gasket because I don't. I want to be sure that actually it needs it. And my five dollar Harbor Freight light actually just broke. I love that store, but stuff is just garbage quality. Some stuff, some are good. And, of course, with the seals and everything, you know, I'm changing everything else in here. This guy here as well. I have a new one coming in pretty soon. Um, yeah, that's about it. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, uh, once I fix this vehicle, it runs good. And I will probably use it for, who knows, 50,000 miles on it. I'm hoping. I'll put brand new tires on it because the tires are pretty shot. Once I know it works right. And let me show you a little bit about inside the vehicle. I don't think I've showed it, but this vehicle is pretty loaded. You know, it's got every option, I think. It came at the time when this was new. I mean, pretty good vehicle. The battery's in there. Battery's pretty good as well. So, yeah, anyways, I got a lot of projects here since the weather's getting warm. I built these tables here. Basically, I used uh, two by fours. You know, there's like seven, eight of them. Double on that side, double on that side, bottom here. So, it works beautifully. By the way, I had nothing here. And I built one here too. This is kind of a stupid design. I should have kept this under the table, but... Anyways, that was my first actual table that I built. Now, second one came out better. As you can see, a lot of sport. This can hold probably like, I don't know, 400 pounds. If I want to put something in the middle that heavy, I would probably put, you know, leg in there too, but I'm not planning to. So, um, yeah, all in all, this will be a fun project once I get my filters i mean a gasket kit here in the united states i didn't know it was coming from china but i bought it from amazon thinking that okay everything is amazon on amazon is like you know four or five days i didn't even care the look price was so good it was like 55 dollars for a whole kit head gasket kit they call it so every you know everything that you need but it's been a week two weeks three weeks i'm like wait a minute what's going on here um, it was a Chinese made, basically what they do is, it doesn't show that it comes from China, but you buy it in Amazon website, and they actually send it from China, kind of like a fast shipping, like in 10 days or 15 days or something, to United States, and it gets to like a warehouse where they distribute from there, as it's, if it's from USA, so you think that you're buying it from you know, U.S. Uh, seller, but it's actually a Chinese seller. You know what I mean? So it goes from, your money goes from here to Amazon. Amazon sends it to, I guess, the bank here, and then the part actually comes from China to United States and gets relabeled and sold in USA as it's a U.S. sold item. Matter of fact, it's Chinese made anyways. Everything is Chinese made these days, so. But I didn't know that. So... Bottom line, I'm waiting about almost a month to buy something from Amazon. That's, you know, kind of unreal. But it's my mistake. I didn't, I wasn't careful. So I could have paid maybe, you know, 30 bucks more, get it from Rock Auto in like four or five days or different seller from Amazon. But 
Anyways, um, just want to show you my top of the engine, what you think. I didn't clean that much. I just, you know, there's oil in it. To me, this looks pretty damn good for what it is. It's an older vehicle. You know, I don't see you no know, sludge, nothing. So, And also, one more thing here that I'm not sure. See this chain while it's not running? I think this much slack is okay. Do you think my um, tension is going away? Going away I mean, giving away? I'm not sure. Um, there's a little bit of slack. Okay, so that's it. All right, so yeah, wish me luck. Thank you.